Hello and welcome to another episode of Jeff and Angie Photography. Today we are going to get started on a little mini series. Uh, it's going to be on all on Luminar Neo. The first one that I'm doing today is going to be the intro and how to get started and kind of show you around in Neo and what all its capabilities are. So stay tuned. Let's get started. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started so first thing first um, after you download Neo for the first time you jump over here to the Luminar Neo you go right down here where it says check for updates and you want to make sure that you have the up-to-date version so we are working with Neo version 1.14.0 and it is currently the latest version. All right, so as you can see, I got quite a few pictures in here, about uh, 249,000 images all together. And let's go ahead and add some more. So what I wanna do, I don't wanna just add some photos, I wanna add a full folder. So how you do that is you go down here to folders, you click this plus button, and then you go and you select the folder that you want to put in Neo. So I'm going to put this, I'm going to click on this folder and I'm going to open up this photos for the webinar. And I'm going to add the folder. And there we have it. There's some photos that we'll be working on. So, um, just go ahead and show you around here real quick just so you have an idea of where to go and what to do so you can if you want to select an image make it bigger you just double click on it it'll make it larger hit this catalog button up here it'll take you back to your catalog and you can scroll through your images but I don't have that many on there and then you can also go up here showing it's showing all photos but I want it just to show the raw images. Okay, so there's just the raws showing. And now it's like, oh, well, let's see if I have any favorites. Oh, I have one favorite. Some blue bonnets in Big Bend. So we'll go back to the catalog, go back over here to showing, and we'll go all photos. And you can also go here and you can select capture time and it will, sort, it will sort them according to the capture time, the edit time, the pick time, the file name, the file type, file size, and then it will do it ascending and descending. So let's just hit um, by file name. There we go. All right, and then you can also view them in small, medium, large, or largest. All right, so let's jump on over to the side over here. So here, this is where you have your file name. And let's jump over here to a raw image. Here we go. So the file name on this is JAX Spring 2023 and then my original image, and it was taken with the Sony A7 Mark IV with the 60 to 600 lens, ISO 640 at 60 millimeters, no exposure compensation, f-stop was nine, and my shutter speed was 1 60th of a second. So right there is where you get all your information about the image that's selected. And then you can go on over, jump on over to the edit tab. And in the edit tabs, uh, you have layers, which we'll go over that. Uh, cropping, cropping's really, really easy with Neo. Um, and if you don't like the orientation of the image, say you want, well, this isn't really a good image to show you with, but let's do this guy. 
this guy here, go in to crop him. If you don't like him looking from left to right, you can just hit this button here in the middle. And now he is looking right to left. And then, of course, you can also do all your flips with that button as well. Flip them upside down, right side up. So yeah, that's your crop. And then you have noiseless AI, which will get rid of noise. You have super sharp, which will sharpen the image if you want to do that. And then magic light, we don't have any lights. We'll, we'll do a segment on each one of these. And then you got your develop, enhance, erase, structure, color, black and white, details. That's all under your essentials. Then you can collapse essentials and you can move down to creative and creative you get a bunch of options here. Some of the new ones are blur and neon and glow which are kind of cool. We'll go, over, we'll go over every single one of these segments and then collapse your creative and then you can jump down into portrait. Uh, portrait's pretty cool, it's got a lot of options. And then your professional You've got Super Contrast, Color Harmony, Dodge and Burn, and Clone. Not real sure why those are in Professional, but it works. So, and let me just show you one thing real quick. If you like Clone, and you use Clone a lot, you can right click on it, and you can add it to your favorites. So now you have a favorites up here, and um, tools that you use all the time, you can put here in your favorites. All right, so let's jump on over to Neo, where I have a link for you down below uh, where you can get started and have a 14 day free trial. And if you kind of fill out this little questionnaire here, they'll give you 14 free days. And then if you decide that you like Neo and you wanna purchase it, click the link below it and type in my code AB15 and you'll get 15% off your purchase. So, I hope you enjoyed that. And the next video will be on the develop raw modular or set or whatever you wanna call it, uh, tools. Um, altogether, I'll probably end up with about 10 videos in this series.